<laughs> which I thought was funny. And I put it in my post today. Um, like there's this sizzler that's off of um, Manchester. And um, I want to say uh, close to, I think, Crenshaw, Manchester, where the forum is at. Yeah. And my, it rang in my bell mind about it. But my mother was like, oh, do you remember that place? And I was like, uh, yeah, I went there with my grandmother. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, that's where you went on your first date. And I was like, my first date. And so I remember my first official boyfriend, which was actually Keyshawn Johnson of the Dallas Coil Cowboys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, <laughs> so I'm wait, not going to go. Wait, wait. <laughs> Shawnee, we was not ready for that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your boyfriend was Keyshawn Johnson. I need to know. In the fifth grade. In the fifth that grade. In the that fifth grade. I mean. Hey, was he on. short? Was he tall? He was taller than me. That's all that mattered. And was he <laughs> Keyshawn at that time or was he Urkel? He had a jerry curl. <laughs> that's, even, that's even better. That's even better. Shawnee, I can't believe, man, you so Is there anything better than a trip getting ready? Nope. For a long journey while our podcast released a new app and searching for a fade feeling. A new fixation. Giving this a subscribe is the same sensation. Started with the day ones. They gave us room for the season. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here for a reason. Notification bells. Have some friends. All to let you know. Check your Bluetooth. Connect. Talk your way. Denied. All right. So, Shawnee, we're going to jump right back right into it. We got a lot to cover today. The hour is going to go quick. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. <laughs> we can take live calls so wow. if there's anybody <laughs> that wants to call in live the number is and i'll have this streaming along the bottom here but let's uh let me let me get that going there let's check that out you see that guy got it at the bottom there but for those who for some reason can't see that you could call in at 512-843-1506 512-843-1506 now for the people in the room who may not know the history, Shawnee, let's tell them a little bit about who you are and where you're from. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me on the show again for part two. Um, my name is Shawnee Haynes. I am originally from Los Angeles, California. Um, ironically, that is where I'm at today filming this show with Mr. Donato and very, very happy to be asked back again. Um, but um, Army retired, um, former social worker. I'm actually a, a UT Austin Longhorn. Um, I'm a mother, grandmother, born and raised in South Central Los Angeles. People say, oh, well, what part? I'm going to start lying and telling them Malibu and see if I <laughs> <laughs> Because you get too many questions about the real deal, right? You know, when they hear CPT. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my grandmother lives in Compton. Um, right. I live, you know, Gage and Hoover and Summer Inglewood. Ironically, my mother pointed out a landmark to me yesterday, which I thought was, <laughs> which I thought was funny. And I put it in my post today. Um, like there's this sizzler that's off of um, Manchester. And um, I want to say uh, close to, I think, Crenshaw, Manchester, where the forum is at. Yeah. And my, it rang in my bell mind about it. But my mother was like, oh, do you remember that place? And I was like. Uh, yeah, I went there with my grandmother. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, that's where you went on your first date. And I was like, my first date. And so I remember my first official boyfriend, which was actually Keyshawn Johnson of the Dallas Coil Cowboys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, <laughs> so I'm wait, not going to go. Wait, wait. <laughs> Shawnee, we was not ready for that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your boyfriend was Keyshawn Johnson. I need to know. In the fifth grade. In the fifth that grade. In the that fifth grade. I mean. Hey, was he on. short? Was he tall? He was taller than me. That's all that mattered. <laughs> and was he Keyshawn at that time, or was he Urkel? He had a jerry curl. <laughs> that's, even, that's even better. That's even better. Shawnee, I can't believe... Man, you were supposed to say that at the end of the show. Now you don't distract it, everybody. My bad. I, 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 well, it's football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. No, no, you know no doubt. So, no, I mean, we don't give him a little bit of break for him, though. So, hey, let me hit you with the first question, then. Got it. There are a lot of Super Bowl parties that are going on this week. Who is the right. person that you ain't inviting to your party? Who is that? I'd like to think <laughs> we all got a cousin. They, they, they um, just got out of lockup. And, and maybe right now they ain't assimilated too well. Like who, who is the person that you ain't inviting to your party? Oh, man. You got one, That's Tony. a hard question. That's a hard question because it, oh. it depends on how recent your nonsense has been. You know what I mean? Sure. So we got our like, first call. You want to take I, it? 
I mean, there are some people, but I'm not going to say this on the air because that's yeah. live TV and I, it could cause insurrection. So I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to go there, but there's a handful. It's not a lot okay. of people, but it's just people that I choose not to associate with, you know, coming from where I come from and coming from the hood and drive by shootings and things like that happening in my community. I really try to steer away from things that may kind of get me into that doesn't excite me like it does some people and plus I'm almost 50 I don't have time for that nonsense if you're yeah. a liability in any capacity for me in my space yeah. then I'm gonna move around you know if I can't have you moved around then I'm gonna move around that's just that's uh, gross for me I'm sorry <laughs> you know apologies but I mean that's just myself I like I like to go places and enjoy my time, enjoy my money spent, keep my yep. clothes clean. You know, not I don't need to see action because I came from a city of action. So I don't need to see people hands up and guns drawn and pop up. I don't need yeah. any of that. That's not entertainment for me. So, so we got, I wanna, we got the yeah. first call. Are, are you able to hear? Call or are hear you there? You. Did you hear that just now, Shawnee? I did not. You can't hear the caller. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, hey, who are you and what is it you want to say? I'm going to work with some some settings here and then we'll get you back on. Okay. Polly Pockets from La Jolla. You know about that, Shawnee. Okay, Polly, what's, what's popping? What's popping? We got the California Connect right now. Oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> what you got? Uh-huh. Oh, from one SoCal to another SoCal. Are we for or against the 49ers today? Ooh, she's starting it off hot like this. And she's way in so say, Let's just say, for me, growing up, I was a Raiders fan. I was in the LA Raiders, right. played at the Coliseum, blah, 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 had a bomber's jacket. When I moved to Texas, I became a Cowboys fan. Don't hate yeah. me, y'all, but it's just what happened. Now, if I go to any household in, in, in LA where I'm at right now, it's going to be a sea of red. Let's just put it that way. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to probably just mingle and go with the flow and just have my little Cowboys little button on or something because they might try to hurt me. Because <laughs> yeah. one, well, it, <laughs> they it in all red like... and I'm trying to come in blue. But I, 49ers, 49ers, 49ers. Polly, Polly, thanks for calling. And she calls into the radio show too. So I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to work you, on uh, getting everybody to be able to hear that. Uh, we'll, we'll work through that. So, uh, okay, here's one other thing. There are a lot of Super Bowl parties. Shawnee, if you got a friend who has six dogs, are you going over to that friend's house? No, absolutely not. No. Uh, <laughs> absolutely I mean, not. I, yeah. I, I feel like they should know that. They don't know that. But I guess, man, they about to find out. So, Shawnee, what you going to tell them? Because you seem like a nice person. You going to let them down softly? I, I, I mean, I, mine is just going to be honest. I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> See, now, now I'm on the hook because I'm not allergic. Um, all right. Oh, Shawnee, how did this? Because you know, I can't hesitate. So let's just let's do the role play. Shawnee, ask me if I can come over to your spot because you got the six dogs. Go and ask me right quick. See hey, what hey, happens. Donato, check this out. I'm having a Super Bowl party this today. You want to stop yeah. by? <laughs> <laughs> Shawnee. Sorry. Hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I already got an invite from this little tenderoni. From from uh from CPD, so I'm gonna have to go there. <laughs> I, I can't come. I'm gonna blame it on that. I think that's what I'm gonna blame it on the game, and okay. then hopefully they'll understand that. Yeah, 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 bro, you gotta go get. Yeah, hey, yeah, she from where go. CPT? And then look, then they're gonna have all the questions. So maybe I should say Malibu. <laughs> hey, then they won't act just like you said. West Hollywood, anywhere, yeah, yeah. anywhere, thirty that. minutes or more. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm a little curious. Shawnee, I went out last night. I had this date. I went to a concert with this little tenderoni. We're going to get to that later. Shawnee, remember how back in the day, ladies used to be able to walk seven blocks in high heels and stand in line at a bar with no coat on. And now they can't even make it to the mailbox without breaking a hip. Do, do you see the differences there? Uh, well, I want to blame that on the food industry, Donato. There was more oh. calcium and more iron in our food back then. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I like that. See, I was going to go with the old card that we are past our prime, but I oh, like what no. you did there. I, oh, no. Don't you? I agree. We should never ever. give it up. 
<laughs> no, we should never give it up. I like, man, you look at you. You out there. Okay, I got another question. Now, this is a point of view. I need some advice. I need okay. some advice, Shawnee. Are you ready right. to give me some 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 real? Uh, yes, very real. Okay. If ready. I'm in a doctor's office and this fine tenderoni is in the waiting area too, and she's by herself. Now she she just coughed, but she's a dime, Shawnee. She is a dime. On a scale of one to ten, she at least a twelve. Do I shoot my shot? Yes, and let me tell you wait. how. She's coughing, Shawnee. I just told you so, I, coughing. Listen. She's coughing. But you but you've already rated her. So you've rated her far enough to where you're acknowledging her and you're thinking about it. So why not act on it? If it's, <laughs> if the cough is more than what it is later, you can always backpedal out. So like me, no. I'm gonna get a copy of the doctor's card, write my number on the back of it. So that way right. she has my number and knows where she met me. And I'm gonna just put it in one of the empty chairs about two <laughs> spaces from her. And just be like, hey girl, come get that. Come get that. That way, that way it's a 50-50. If she knows she 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 just temporarily contagious, she can go over okay. the See, uh, You know what? I thought I was a positive person. Shorty, but on the scale of comparison, you are making me look like an evil person, and you are Mother Teresa. Man, you are just positive energy. Okay, I'm gonna stay on the the doctor's office, okay. and I want to ask you a question. Should we should we hate people that don't look their age? And and let me give you a background before you answer that. At the doctor's office, I met this baddie. And she kept telling me that she was older than me while she was taking my blood. And the problem is she knew how old I was. Cause you know, when you sit down to give the blood, they, you got to give them your name and your date of birth. And then mm -hmm. I, I, but she was like, yo, I'm older than you. And I, at a point I was like, yo, I need, I asked her, yo, how old are you? <laughs> now, if you would have told me that this girl was in her thirties, I would have said that you were wrong, but we should be happy for those people, right? And let me tell you, she was not in her 30s. So should I be happy for her? Or is it okay for us to hate on those people that don't look their age? And if you're wondering, she was 50, uh, she was 52. Okay. I thought she was in her 30s, but she was bad, Shawnee. Should we okay. hate those people? No, I think we should celebrate those people such as myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, to... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should celebrate that because that lets us know that, you know, we have uh, the ability to be diverse. I mean, as a, I don't know if she was black, especially us as a black people, our skin tends to age a little bit differently. She and was. Like, we have to have something. It's Black History Month. Can we have something? Can we have yeah, our yeah. skin? Can we have yes. our, our, our youth, that our youthful looking skin? Because everything else, our music, our clothes, our our hairstyles. I've even seen some people with uh, locking their hair that has straight hair. It's crazy oh, to yeah. me, but yeah. can we just have that? Can we, can we have that? Because I don't think any other culture has that but us. So let's, let's then, then just we have gonna, that. We're going to keep that. And um, <laughs> I, if anybody wants to know where that doctor's office is, you know, get at us in the comments. I'll let y'all know because <laughs> she was single. She was single. Um, let's see. So we got over here, we got Nergis uh, following in. Appreciate that she's in. Hey, Polina says, Coughs are temporary. Tens might not be. Ooh, oh, she's, she's like with it. you, Shawnee. Yes, she's with you. <laughs> okay, now, uh, uh, Polly Pockets called in. She was repping La Jolla. You repping the CPT. Let's keep it, <laughs> let's keep it Cali for a quick second here. Um, Puma, the shoe company, uh -huh. they still deposit money into Nipsey Hussle's account every year for his kids. Did you know that? I did not. I did not. What, what are your I thoughts? Think I think that's a wonderful thing. I mean, I, Nipsey has been instrumental in the community, even though this has happened after my departure from Los Angeles, just the stuff that um, he's accomplished with working with the youth and, you know, his family values and things like that. Everyone has their backstory as to how they got somewhere. But I think that once you ascertain the goals that many of us as black people cannot even think about having and you start to give back, I think that shows true character. That shows you as at least trying to become a pillar in your community and try to restore and give back. So um, Puma, you know, which has been around since, you know, I was street dancing or before, you know, it's been it's it's been kind of like an icon shoe for the black community as well. Like I still wear Pumas, but there was a time when people were in this Air Jordan phase and they look at you if you have on a pair of Pumas, like, oh, you got us some cheap shoes. But Pumas, 
they don't know if you don't know the back yeah. history about you know different things that 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 cater or that uh that are contributing to a culture yeah you just you know just take a seat maybe a plethora of seats just have mm -hmm. a seat okay <laughs> I, so the screen already tells us that we're on point of view. You just gave yours. So we're going to stay there for a second. And I'm going to give you a scenario. And I need to know what pops into your head. <laughs> this <scary>. car. <laughs> this car. You're thinking. Of, I know. But it's a car. It's a car. This car has to be owned by a 75-year-old deacon at an AME church that used to be a pimp till he was delivered in Christ. So I'm going to hold back my jokes because I respect my elders with with the the, the mo cat daddies out there, but what they driving? What they driving, Shawnee? What, what what's the car? Oh, I want ooh, my, <laughs> 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 either a Mercedes or a Lincoln Continental. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you think them dudes would go do a, a, a European car like that too? No, nah, a, a Cadillac Seville or something like that. I mean, it's. This is Atlanta and Cali are are car cities, you know. Uh -huh. LA, it's yeah. just like you, 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 you gonna see all kinds of cars and souped up and you know um, rims and colors and just all kinds of cars that just make you go like wow. So yeah. I mean, as far as some of the churches that I've been to, you know, yeah. been kind of toned down, but you know, it could be anything from a Rolls Royce to a Mercedes to a Cadillac uh, uh, to a Lincoln. Like, yeah. I mean, you just never know. I mean, nowadays, I it depends on which church you're going to in yeah. no, no, everywhere, right. not just LA, except for maybe the deep, deep, deep rooted south southern states that yeah. just they take none of that. But like things are becoming so liberal that you really don't know what to expect. So I, so, I just kind of keep an open mind. The screen is already flipped. We're on the entertainment. We're going to come back for some more point of view. Entertainment. <laughs> is Taraji P. Henson the reason that the color purple flopped? Now, I'm not a fan of musicals being turned into film. I had read the curl purple and I also saw the film. Uh, I really didn't feel the movie needed a, a re-imaging, as it's called, because it's not supposed mm -hmm. to be the same. Right. I think it flopped because nobody wants to watch a remake, especially a musical. I've seen many comments online attesting to that fact. What do you say is the reason? Um, I would say that has a large part to do with it because myself, I was skeptical in going to see the film. I didn't know what to expect or anticipate. I mean, you see the trailers and all the musical singings and stuff. And I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm not big on musicals. As much as I love music, yeah. I'm just not big on musicals. I don't know why. But mm -hmm. to take that classic movie for us, depicting a lot of baggage that is uh, generational, you know, for us and to take it and restir that and take some of the women and men that we see in theater or in the movies from where they are into this place that once again, it's ours. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> ours, you know, and to take it and, you know, and, and, and make it anew, as you would say, I, I wasn't for it, but I went to support it. I went to support it because, again, it was us. Um, I love Taraji. Um, mm -hmm. I love some of the other actors in that movie. And so just to, I still go and support, regardless of my opinion of things that are of us, for us, by us, I still go and try to support if and when I can. So I think okay. that that should have been everybody's goal yeah, yeah. <laughs> first <laughs> as opposed to why it didn't flop as opposed to making it succeed, you know, and I'm not going to go into black history stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back to point of view because I got, I got a couple in that line. Have you ever done homework for your kids and then they take it and they get it graded and it flunked? How do you feel? Absolutely not. <laughs> that is happening. It is happening. So if that is happening to some of the parents that are out there, we're going to need some advice there, Shawnee. I mean, what am I teaching my kids? I mean, this is this is like catering to the sense of entitlement, catering to the sense of I don't have to grow up. I don't have to be accountable. I don't have to be responsible. And I wasn't I guess I wasn't raised with parents like that. Like I've, I've always tried not saying I've been perfect at it because we're all still growing. But what are you teaching your child in regards to this is something that you have to do that's applicable to you to show where you are in wherever it is to get to yeah. the next level. You're not teaching them that 
there are steps between the process and they, then they <laughs> expect everything right now, that instant gratification. Cause it's mm -hmm. like, if I could go home and have somebody, anybody, the dog could do my homework. I would have them do it too. I wouldn't yeah. care if it was right or wrong. I'd be like, teacher, I did it. I turned it in. You're going to pass me anyway, because I'm the class clown. So let's, you know, it's, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta do better. It's, especially yeah. if we know better, if you know how to do your child's homework, then you should maybe read up on how to encourage your child to do his or her own ah. homework. You got time for that. I'm serious. Yes. You got time to sit down and do your kids' homework. Read a book. Take a parenting class. Take some yeah. classes on how to communicate with my kids so they can hear me. They can listen to me. You know, not saying that it always works, you know, because kids grow up. They're influenced by other things. But in the yeah. end, when you feel like you've done the right thing as a parent, you can really feel less guilty about <clears throat> where they decide <laughs> to go along their path. You okay. say, I told you, you're always welcome back. I love you, but you got to do better. You got to act like you my spawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I, okay, I like where you go in there. What she's saying is little tough love and accountability parents. Uh, I'm going to flip it to something that hopefully if it goes right, you're going to end up with a kid one day. Um, let's talk about a date. Applebee's two for twenty dollars. Shawnee, is that a date? Uh, two to what? Two. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shawnee, stop laughing. I might have worked all hard this week to try to get us to this spot. First I might have Shawnee. First of all, why, why you no, listen, I'm going to Applebee's. Listen, listen, listen. I, I look, I, I've heard of the whole cheesecake thing, whatever, but bro, not at my age. I'm not at my age, okay? Applebee's better be like, I'm in middle school. You my first date, Keyshawn, you know? Um, Aunt Sizzler, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would need you... I'm going to need you, you to see, be on another level. Like you, I, not, there, I'm not saying it's a lot of boxes you got to check, but yeah. there are some basic boxes, you know uh, what I mean? And and if Applebee's, like, if there's a snowstorm and nothing else is open but Applebee's, yeah. I can make some exceptions. But, baby, <laughs> if I'm 49 and you taking me to Applebee's, fine. it better be because your best friend and your brother works there and we about to get some free tequila shots. <laughs> That's why we stopping at Applebee's. <laughs> Okay, no, but you brought it back. You brought it back. So you saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. I didn't say I was eating. Oh, I didn't say I was eating. Hey, they got a bar. They get, you know what? I'm going to just let it go. Clearly, them, Apple, them Applebee's brothers are not for you. But mm -mm. I'm moving along. I'm moving along. You're you crushing, you crushing our audience out there. Brother I'm thought sorry. he was doing something. All right. Point of view. We're going to stay on point of view. There's a singer. Her name is Kim Burrell. She asked a churchgoer to stop singing along during her solo. That was now. This is according to the Shade Room. Are you okay with that? I mean, like, if you're feeling a song, can you start singing along in the song with the person doing the solo? I mean, so I don't think there's a number for how many people need to be in the audience to right? determine it worthy enough for you to command silence during your solo. <laughs> But yep. listen, I've done a few <laughs> solos in my time. Right. I did in fifth grade. I did the solo solo. I did. I believe the children are the future. Wait, yes, wait, wait, Shawnee, Shawnee. I'm going to be rude. I'm going to be rude. <laughs> Yo, it sounds like fifth grade was lit for you. But those who might not have been on time. I know she's from CPT. And if y'all was on CPT and y'all got here fifth late grade. in fifth grade. We just found out at the top of the hour, she dated Keyshawn Johnson. And now we find it out in fifth grade, she was like Whitney Houston in the in the school performances. Yo, your fifth grade was lit. Why would you leave fifth grade? I, I don't know. Well, I had fifth to go grade to middle was school. everything. Well, I went to I went to like I went to LaSalle Avenue. I went to a couple of elementary schools because my parents were not together. So during that course, I got to experience. My schools have me a little got, had me a little bit more diverse. Yeah. Um, and another institution called Trio Child Care that I got my first job. Those are the things that really enriched me growing up. So mm -hmm. all those experiences had me to see life in a different way. I didn't, you know, I didn't have a lot of 
setbacks, as I guess you can see, my parents were okay, well to do. I wasn't struggling like at home or anything like that. So yeah. I got to experience childhood. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now uh, you're rocking the Los Angeles shirt. I know he likes to remind everybody he's from the LBC, but everybody puts Snoop Dogg in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm not going to get into the geography lesson, people, but they different. Uh, Los Angeles, Long Beach, they far apart. But for now, <laughs> we just going to say SoCal just to keep it just to keep it friendly. Mm -hmm. OK, Snoop Dogg was on all the smoke podcasts and he's talking about how he's with Skechers now. Have you seen that? He's got shoes with Skecher and wow. they kind of nice. So I'm just kind of say, I want to know, would you rock some Skechers now that you know the Snoop Dogg is rocking with it? I mean, I'll just be honest with you. I've been rock rocking Skechers since they came out. I've oh, Skechers. <laughs> you are I mean, because let me tell you why. Because one, they were comfortable. So um, I guess some at some point in my early army years, you know, you're walking around in boots a lot. And so you're yeah. looking for a cool color shoes and then you know I'm still got a little tomboy edges so I don't always wear heels and flats and stuff I want shoes to wear if I get somewhere and I feel you know I can dance I can run I can skip whatever you know yeah. but like I have a green pair now that are like all solid like lime green like a tree bright lime green and everybody can say what are those are those sketchers and I'm just like yes because the s is not like how it used to be where it says sketchers and all that's like some other little little symbol which is cool so in short yes i will rock any shoes that snoop sends me <laughs> okay, that says right. Skechers hey, on the hey, side. Hey. <laughs> she, she gonna do it all right so now we're gonna go to a little bit of, now now this one this one's gonna be a little different though we're gonna get out of point of view and um we're gonna go to some news and hmm. this this one this one i gotta get your opinion on this news the Airbnb, the Airbnb host was staying in a secret compartment in the house that they put on for people to come to. And they came out to get breakfast, but did not think that it was a problem to come out while the other people who actually <laughs> paid to rent the place were still there. There were people. I can't with people. This a is secret compartment, Shawnee. I do not practice social work anymore for this very reason because <laughs> okay. they're just, they're, sometimes there's just really not an answer for human behavior except for there's a chemical imbalance. <laughs> <laughs> that is the softest, most straight to the point way that you can say that. There has to be a chemical imbalance because the only other thing I can think of is that your financial situation is so desperate that you said, I have to save money any way I can. I don't know. Maybe there was child support issues. Maybe they need to pay for a funeral. I don't know. Maybe they had some black people issues. Maybe their car needed some new brakes. I don't know. But either desperation, which was fed by chemical imbalance, or just plain chemical imbalance. Because hey, uh, to come out, I, I have to say chemical imbalance because lean more towards that. Because for them to come out for breakfast, yes, right. this, has to, this has to tell you, like, that fear my neighbor type show. I don't yeah, know if you've yeah. ever watched that. I, I watch that and I just get that. That is crazy. It's, it's crazy. But don't come out in my Airbnb because <laughs> you will not be greeted with croissants and fruit. You, you going to catch me. You going to catch a couple of these in your own house. You will get the beat down in your house. I'll get you some ice for that out of your fridge. But you got to go back into the secret compartment or something. And I'm going to lock it from the, from the outside. I'm going to lock you up in there. But uh, oh, yeah, that, that is crazy. That, that's tough. That's okay, crazy. okay. Um, let's let's get to let's get to entertainment. We go we gonna go to some entertainment. I want to make sure we're giving people an opportunity to get a wide variety. But you you seem to be going with me, so we gonna go <laughs> we gonna go to entertainment. Shawnee, if you reached out to a celebrity, not named Keyshawn Johnson, if you reached out to a celebrity <laughs> and then they replied back in the DMs, what would you say? Um. I'm going to be honest with you because that has happened to me, but just with my, no, 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 seriously, but it's, it's not what you think. So oh. Lorenz Tate was one oh. 50 cent. No, no, listen, wait, follow with me. 50 cent was one, but because I have owned my own business before and I know about bots and bot responses and things um, like that, yeah. me and my intelligent self would ask questions for a more detailed response to determine if I was speaking to a person. 
So I feel like one time I was talking to maybe an, an aide or something like that because the responses were a little bit more filling, but yes. it was more a uh, third party questions. It wasn't actually the rinse tape, but in, in second to that, I felt like it was a bot because I would start asking more questions or whatever. And then I said, you know, I really don't have time to talk to machines. I deal with them all day. Uh, and so this is like not a good, <laughs> yeah. this is not a good extraction is, of my time. So I'm going to yeah, let y'all move on to the next person. And I'll call it y'all. Okay. That's how that ended. Another, we, I'm going back to Cali. We're going to stay in entertainment. Tyrese Gibson. He came out. He said something here shortly. I'm going to read it to you. He said, Sometimes I wish I was born Latino. I mean, the Latin community is grounded in family, loyal, entrepreneurs, businessmen, and women literally represent the dream, the grind, the hustle, doing whatever it takes, stick together against all odds. For us, Black culture, I wish we was more grounded in these integral, magical nuances, and we would be dominant. I've learned a lot from the Jewish community, sticking together, eating together every Friday together. I've learned a lot about the Muslim community throughout all my travels in the Middle East. They have a father structure where they honor their fathers. The Middle East, the thinking in the mentality is that they would much rather have a son over a daughter because they know that there is nothing like the leadership of a father and a man being the head of the household. I have no idea how we lost our weight. We can't get anything done and accomplished as a fragmented culture, insecure, threatened by each other, competitive towards our own race, killing ourselves every single day, frivolously. The majority of us is black men and the millions are locked up in prison. So he, hold on, I'm gonna stay with you. Stay, stay with me. He said, of course we are beyond powerful, <laughs> influential and successful. But imagine if we all linked up like other communities have linked, poured and built up on each other instead of moving like fragmented and dysfunctional. We have what it takes to take over the world. We're nothing trying to do it alone. Okay. End quote. <laughs> but the brother, the brother went in. He was feeling it. I, what's your reaction to that? I, I, is Tyrese from California? Isn't he? He from? is. He okay, a Cali so dude too. He, he, so when he says he doesn't know how we lost our way, I yeah. have a problem with that <laughs> because to me going that's in. a lie. Being oh, from oh. Los Angeles. You have learned some history as to what happened to this city when we moved here. If if nobody's watched the what is it Keenan Peel movie Them, the TV yeah. series that, if you haven't watched uh, some of the other movies about the the banker, I think the banker when he came here, like you know how there are movies about it. So <laughs> and, and, and talking about the Hispanic community, no one stole their culture from them. Like like what other what other culture has their absolute culture? Like I was saying earlier today, like can we keep our youth? They're trying to steal that too. But anyway, yeah, yep. um, no, you said it. You, you know, I I I I have a problem with what how he tried to act like he does not know and he has a bigger yeah. voice. He does Thank know. You. So yeah. by you knowing how it happened, why it happened, and why it's still happening, like. Are you doing everything yourself to Boom. be the best father that you can be like That's those it. Jewish people That's that it. you're watching? Like, are you aiding other black men to want to do those sorts of things? Yes. Like you have this big, huge platform and I hear you, I read, you know, see you putting all these things and all these words, but these words also have to be actions, especially when you have the power to implement them. You know, and I'm not saying that he's not doing anything. I don't know what all he's doing. But my brother, if you are doing those things, that post should have been more about how I am trying to mimic <laughs> the black community or the yes. Jewish community, not how I am participating yet again in their community things as if your people cannot do that. And we Thank can you. do that. There are people that do it. And the people that do it are the threats. That's what I feel when they yeah. see us. In the places that we're not supposed to be, we yeah. are the threat. When they see us buying a home next door or buying a blendly, that's when we become the threat because we're not supposed to be on that level. And I'm not going to go straight black history on y'all today because, <laughs> 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 yeah. No, so hey, that you... that's my take on on that piece, that prolific piece by Tyrese. Gibson no, no, from, brilliantly from the, stated, from the lady. Community. Brilliantly stated. All right, I'm going to stay in point of view. I switched. That was entertainment, but then when you gave your point, I switched to point of view. All right. Got it. You enter a restaurant. It is not Applebee's. 
You enter a restaurant and you notice your partner on a date. Do you confront, pass, or go home? Oh, I'm a true Capricorn to my core. So I will um, probably leap back and, and see what's happening for a little bit just so I could be like, okay, I'm not seeing things. It's not a delusion, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. And then I'm going to confront. But my confrontation is not aggressive. It's just to say like, hey, I see you enjoying, you know, whatever you're doing here. I just wanted to let you know that I see you and you see me and we'll talk about it later and you enjoy your evening and I'm going to carry on, you know, especially if it's a happen upon you type of thing. I'm definitely not going to go look for nobody because most of the time. Shawnee, hold on. Hold on. We, we've been vibing up until now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Shawnee. If I'm out on my two for 20, you ain't going to be rolling up to the table messing that up. You see, I'm out here trying. I'm at the I'm a Capricorn. Mm -mm, I'm a Capricorn because what? And I can't say men because I know p men, women do it too. But the whole um, benefit of the doubt thing is yeah. key here. Yeah. Where is, no, that wasn't me. You didn't uh -huh. see me. You thought uh -huh. you saw me. You was probably drinking. You might have had some shrooms. Who yes. knows? Whatever. So you're not. No, I'm. that's why I said. Um, I just want to let you know that I yep. see you. And you see me, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> we out. <laughs> yeah. And, I, okay. and, and, and you can go on. That can be whatever that needs to be for you after. I don't have time for that. Like, I, my freedom means a lot to me. And if I'm going to mess up my freedom, it's going to be because I did it for me because I wanted to, not because of something of somebody else's actions. Learn that the hard way. But anyway, um, no, no, y'all are still growing. <laughs> I, when you say it like that, I, I get that. And you're right. There's no, there's no denying. That when we've, we, we, uh, we acknowledge each other. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to, um, we're going to stay on point of view for this one. Okay. So Shaquille O'Neal says you should never open up to a woman. He was, he told that to world star hip hop. Uh, he says you should never open up to a woman. What are your thoughts? Uh, point of view. I think that. Black men have been taught since they're children to not be vulnerable. And it's a sad thing. And I believe that Black women have been taught to be survivors in that state to the point to where when the man is vulnerable, we can easily be pushed into so survival mode if that man violates anything that is a principle to us. Mm -hmm. um, how to make that in layman's terms, hurt people, hurt, hurt, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. So yeah. Um, to not, to be in a relationship and not be able to be vulnerable with somebody is, there's a disconnect. Mm -hmm. um, because I think w if you're able to be vulnerable with somebody, and even if you grow apart or what have you, the fact that you had that moment or had those moments with that person should still make you feel safe, even if you're separating, departing or whatever. But um, you should be able to still have some solace in knowing that that person cared enough for you to allow you to be vulnerable. Yeah. Um, and, you, and no, you shouldn't be vulnerable to every person, I yeah. think, is maybe the word that's missing there. That's the applicable word. Um, because we all need somebody to be vulnerable to. We hold so much stress and anger and hurt and pain inside and we don't dispel that. And then we explode. If you don't have anybody to dispel those things to, then where are you putting that? You're putting that into vices. You're putting that into alcohol, drugs, yeah. sex, um, theft, whatever it is your vice might be, you know, as opposed to releasing that. And we as black people sometimes don't possess the means to release things because economically, uh, socially, culturally, spiritually. And what I mean by that is some of the things I notice is how people that are not of color get to do stuff like go skiing and go backpacking and go travel the world and go sailing and do all these things that we look and just like, oh my God, you know? And that's why <clears throat> I love hate for like Instagram and stuff like that. The love part of it is that we now get to see us doing those sorts of things. Like right. I went to National Black Ski Weekend and I saw nothing but black people out there, like really out there to ski. Yeah, no, wait, wait, where, where, where was that at? I didn't I National didn't get the Black memo. Ski Weekend, NBS. So I, call, I think it's called National Black Summit now, but it's yeah, uh, yeah. it's a group and you just follow, you can look them up on Facebook, Instagram, and you have MLK Ski Weekend, which is a a nice black gathering of people oh. going to go ski and do things that 
we supposedly don't do in the eyes of other people or can't do. And I think it's just, it's important for us to just continue to, to try to move forward and tap into those areas to let our children know that you too can do these things, but more so to find ways to release the pain and the anger, you know, therapy, seances, whatever it is that you need to do. Mm -hmm. um, but not moving on from one person to the next broke person to the next broke person. And you haven't even begun to try to fix yourself because you're re basically reintroducing the broken you to somebody else that's broken. Ooh, how are you going to fix that? <laughs> oh, no, no, I get that. All right. <clears throat> Point of view. <clears throat> Here's the text. Here's the text change. I send a text to you. Uh -huh. Hey, you got home safe? Question mark. You say yes. Okay, this is what I say. Okay, you're ugly in person. Don't ever come over here again. Now, Shawnee, <laughs> what would your reaction be if someone sent that to you? And uh, I'm, I'm just wondering, is this, the, is this another case of a girl that went on a date and she forgot to bring her IG filters with her? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. What was that? What was um, that? What happened I, there? That... It's it. That's kind of what it sounds like that happened. And um, both sides need to take some accountability. You know what I mean? I mean, because there's live, you know, my thing with that is if you can't go live with me on the phone, at least at some point up until where we get to start exchanging money or spit or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's there's not, there's a red flag, you know, I, yeah. I think we need to change the flags from maybe red to orange because people act like they don't see these red ones. <laughs> so maybe we need a new color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we need a new color. Um, but yeah, no, we can't do that. Like you have all of these devices that can allow you to engage or meet somebody by before this happens, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. before this happens, it's just like, I, I don't know. I mean, just FaceTime me real quick. FaceTime yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> no, no. So I like, I like how you started that there's accountability on both sides. And yeah. so I believe the brother, I'm just going to say, I think it was the brother that, 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 that initiated this by saying, you got home safe. That's what I'm mm -hmm. thinking. And uh, that, that's his bad. He, he, yeah. he probably should have gone live once once or twice before that. So that's on him just being a text a text player. A texter person. And but at least yeah. he did ask if she got home safe, you know. So that's that's a lot more than what some people are out here getting, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably would have got got some kind of meme or something from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> so we coming back. <laughs> All right, we coming back. Um this one, this th this one's gonna be point of view. This was gonna be point of view. What happens when you're at an NBA game, Golden State Warriors versus Atlanta Hawks, and they flash up on the big screen that you are Glorilla, the rapper from Memphis, but that ain't who you are. Are, are you okay with that? If she has the same part, she has the baby hairs laid like, <laughs> like you do, and she's good looking, but not Glorilla. They put all your social media info on the screen. The... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of good for Glorilla. It's like advertising for her, even though she's not there. All her stuff got put on the screen. Right. But uh, what, what happens? Like, I got the two questions. If you're the okay. girl, right. is it your fault for rocking the exact same everything that Glorilla's doing? And then okay. if you're Glorilla, are you okay with them? I ain't not the game and I'm getting some shine. Okay. I'm about to be a quick double ganger real quick and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to be like, I'm F-R-E-E. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> you you are the Globetron and you want to think of the NBA game, like that's 15 seconds of fame and, and with the things that I'm trying to do in entertainment, I'll take it. I mean, it's free public. It's free promo for me. It's free yep. promo for her. You know, yep. you never know. So, yep. I mean, yep. it's all in fun. But and if they want me to sign some stuff, I'll sign it too. I'll sign yellow and keep it moving. You know, if they want to give me some bottles and let me in and give me a section, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so I'm coming back to relationships, but I feel bad like this is not a relationship path. But I'm just I don't know where to put it. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get to it. Okay, this is a text that I send, and I and I ultimately put this screenshot onto social media. Right. 
I know I'm your side chick, but stop posting so much about your wife. <laughs> Shawnee, your wife laughing wait, at these people paying. Wait a minute. So did she did she post this back in the te- in the post or this? Nah, was she texting? she kept it she kept it off off for, screen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's. Do, a, do again, I have the right to say that? As the side chick, first of all, uh, do I have that absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely not. But it, it just depends, I guess, on whatever conversation that they're having offline. Like you know, if if, if we're saying okay, we're leaving people and all of that, but you're still <laughs> doing all this other stuff, it can be kind of confusing. So I mean, you know, some conversations need to be had, I suppose. But what um, I I, I want to take up the side on the side chick right here. So to your point, yo, you've been all in my ear telling me how. Man, she garbage, yo. I hate this girl. I'm only right. here because she bought me this Cadillac or something. She making the payments on this Cadillac. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, okay. to that point, I don't think there's no rule that you got to go on your social media and keep posting about your other person. You ain't got to do that. That's, that's you not only that extra. I think you have to do that, right? If they, I mean, especially if they pay for the Cadillac. Dude, I mean, what, I mean, what's the rule on that? I, there is no rule. So right. like, that's why people, when you're in a relationship, there really needs to be a social media clause. Like, <laughs> seriously, oh. like, what are we going to do? Like, what's cool for you? What's cool not for you? Like, you know, because some people have private mates, you know, yes. they don't want to be all on social media, not because they're doing bad things, but it's just because they're private people. So yes. just like you talk about kids, marriage, I mean, kids, uh, what kind of bed you're going to sleep in, what kind of car yeah. you're going to drive, what kind of house you're going to live at, you should be talking about social media because it's a very, um, you know, intricate part of our lives. We have cell phones that are, you know, connected to our jobs, that kind yeah. of thing, you know. So I think it's a conversation that should be had in relationships and should not be just overlooked like it's not an entity because there's so many influences as well, too, on social media. Like yeah. if you start dating somebody and you don't know that they're a porn addict, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, a, and, and been... you have this social media thing, and then all of a sudden you, you're noticing that they have a second page and yeah, yeah, they got yeah. a fan page and OnlyFans, yeah. and then you like, I didn't think that bothered you, you know, and it's like, well, I didn't even know you had it, you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, no, no, that conversation, no, conversation should have happened. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to point of view on this, and I'm gonna need you to put on your guy point of view here Got it. of what you know of gentlemen of what Got you it. know understood fellas and and feel free to hit us up on the chat let me let me go back to ig the, the mrs washington said bro how many tenderonies you got enough to share not not the stable the stable is is never full um i'm always packing in more you, you never <laughs> what, what like the rich people shawnee like they go buy an expensive car and yeah. then they go get another one, and they get and another one, and they get another, another one. Like Jay Leno, we, like one. everyone knows, he's got a great stable of cars. Yeah. And don't nobody ever say, "Bro, you got too many." It's always like, "Hey, you got that one? Wow, you got that? We're intrigued." So, <laughs> so sorry to Mrs. Washington. I'm still out here. I'm, I'm, I'm snatching them all. I'm trying to get them all. But uh, <laughs> all right. So, fellas, what are your thoughts if you pull up to the gas station and your lady says that she wants to get out and pump the gas for you? Now, y'all could get into the comments. We on whatever platform you're at, please get into your comments there and let me know. But um, Shawnee, from the guy perspective of the guys that you know, how they gonna react when? Because because I really, really am curious. <laughs> um, let's just say that the men that I know that I grew around were men. Uh-huh. And I hate to do gender roles because, but they're there. They're yeah. there. They're not going anywhere. They could be chiseled a little bit, shine polished, or you know, set aside. But they're 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 still there. I don't know too many men that don't get out and pump the gas. Okay, Shawnee, Shawnee. This is another reason. When I was going through this rundown, I said I'm leaving this in because I want to say this, Shawnee. I want to say this, mm-hmm. Shawnee. Mm-hmm. He, 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 a real one, and he's he respects her, and he respects her wishes, and she's trying to do something for him. And I see it a little different. Can I say that in other cultures, you'll see it happen more often. For us, you don't see it sometimes because of who the car ownership is, who has the wallet, whatever, whatever. 
but that's a whole nother story. But for those men that consider themselves to be a constant in a woman's life and wants to make her feel looked after and, and safe and protected and feminine and, and allowing her to be soft where she doesn't have to show up everywhere to be strong because that's what everybody wants her to do. This I'm just speaking right. from a black woman's point of view. Yeah, I think that it speaks volumes when you open a door, when you pump the gas, yeah. when you bring in the bags without being asked, because it's like, I don't have to show up this time. Somebody's yeah. got my back. It's, it's, it's where you, it, it's, it resounds partnership and yeah. not some hierarchy in our relationship where you do this, I do that. Like my rule in my, some of my relationships, if I cook, you clean. If you cook, I clean. And that's so at the end of whatever we're doing, we have time for each other. You should, your mate okay. should not be tiring themselves out to get done with every fucking thing just so you can sit down. And, now, if it's a big game on, I got you. But yeah. if I got something big going on, I might want to expect that same thing. You know, if it's girls book club night or whatever, paint the toes or whatever, then, you know, help me straighten up, clean up a little bit. You know, uh -huh. it's a partnership. And a lot of people enter... Uh, these agreements on falsehoods and because they've listened to a representative and then they've already soul tied. And then now it's like, oh, there's a baby or there's a this yeah. or that. Yeah. Or we have this obligation to help you with your sick mom or, you know, and then it becomes hard to go, you know, and it's like you have to know where each other stands. And I think just some of those small things and allowing your person your partner to be who they are fully is is instrumental. Okay. You know, it makes everybody now, happy. Now that was point of view and you brought some stuff to relationships because I, I think that also <laughs> goes into that. So then right. I'm going to stay on relationships with at least, we just got a, a few topics. We only got 10 minutes left. We're going to get, mm -hmm. we're going to be respectful of everybody's time and get them okay. to their, their game. Um, there's an NBA player. His name is Tony Snell. He's okay. been in the NBA for nine years. Now he's gone up and down to the G League, but he's you know he's come back. Mm -hmm. He just was he 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 was he went viral because what he was saying was I need a team to pick me up this year. Mm -hmm. If I can play in the NBA this year, I qualify for a tenth year, which means I get medical benefits for mm -hmm. the rest of my life. I got okay. kids. I got kids that are autistic. Mm -hmm. And so this would be beneficial for my kids. Now, right. that's why I went viral because there was like, oh, dang, man, we appreciate what you're trying to do. You out here and you, you're really trying to put on for the family. Um, well, then there's this part. That was just the background, Sean. I just you don't know the background. Now, here's the, here's the jump off point. He is now getting drug on social media because 10 Birkin bags. Fans are slamming his wife for her lavish spending as an NBA veteran misses the service deadline. So he needed the teams to get him on. He went viral for that. He's talking about how he needs this. Can you do that? And then on the same token, your wife out here posted on social media about how she just went and bought 10 Birkin bags. She messing up. She messing up the hustle, right? Communication. Communication. <laughs> I, 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 that word is so prominent because I know that you have to have a PR person. Your PR right. person sat down with him, her, or and or her together to talk to them about maybe the first thing that information that came out. And if they didn't speak to them about some things that you may not want to do because yes. you are aiming for goal number one, Let's ease off on this or that for a time being. And if your PR person didn't tell you that, then you'd be fired. <laughs> hey. um, but if they did and you just went against it, then that's just stupidity. Um, because now you're putting your family at jeopardy over material things and your kids, you know, if that's the case. Um, but then also, I think everything that you think does not need to be said. I don't know how his information about his children came out to where he needs this. He needs this. If yeah. that was something that I did not need to tell anybody and I could have found another way to let them know that I need ah. this, I would have stuck with that and not put my kids and my family in the limelight so that my wife can continue to do whatever she's doing. So as a man, 
I think that there's definitely some growth needed there for him as to what he talks about from his household. Okay. Uh, over on IG, we have a, a another comment. My man got me cooking, cleaning, getting gas, taking the trash out and says my one job is to make sure the trash can is out for trash day. Do I need a new one? Question mark. And, and, and hold on, Shawnee. And <laughs> she goes on to say, and by new one, I mean a new man. <laughs> oh, okay, because I, I thought you were talking about the trash can. I was like, <laughs> is the man going in the trash can? Um, so <laughs> that's a good one. Don't give her no ideas. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. That was the Capricorn in me just came oh, out. Real I quick. see that. I got. Uh, it. But yeah, I, I'm not. As a former therapist, I'm, I've never like told anybody what they should or should not do. Because me and my own rights in life, sometimes I don't know what to do or not do. And you just have to weigh it out. But as time goes on and you get tired, if you're noticing that you're just tired, you're exhausted and, you know, and you want more, then a lot of times you start doing more to, to, to make things satisfying, satisfactory for you because um, you only get one life. Um, there's billions of other people in the world. Um, I know if she is African American as a black woman, it could be the pickings are so slim for us. Um, and when you do find somebody that's doing 10 to 15% of the things that you want them to do, sometimes you feel like that's enough. But as black women, we have to, we have to learn to exalt ourselves Mm -hmm. Um, so that we can be seen so that we can be heard and not be heard and seen as aggressive, but we also have to start that with each other. Yeah. Um, because so many people put us in these boxes as black women that we're all loud. We all do this. We all pop, 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 pop. And, and they keep us in survival mode, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that, that's stressful in and of itself. That ages you in and of itself. And if your partner is not seeing you, they're definitely not going to hear you. Um, and if they're feeling that you're supposed to do all these things and run yourself down and they're calling themselves your partner, you can't win no games that way. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't, not, not long term, you know, I mean, it does just keep it, you know, one of my favorite sports is basketball. Like it has to be a team effort. Like, yeah, yep. you can play 21, but 21 is not as fun as having your partner there to, to help you, to give you those assists, to help you with those shots, to yeah, give you, you that break. Somebody. You know? Yeah. So it, it's, 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 it's supposed to be complimentary. And when things aren't complimentary, you age faster. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. We have, uh, oh man, we are just under five minutes. This went quick. I knew it was going to go quick. Uh, I don't think they did, but I think uh, from some of the comments, it looks like we're having some fun here. So, I'm glad cool. everybody's enjoying Good. it. Um, Thank you. A guy filmed himself taking his girlfriend's phone while she was in the shower. And he ran downstairs and outside. He's still filming himself that he did all this. She came running out the house with a towel on at full speed. Like she ran for UCLA track team. <laughs> and <laughs> to get her phone back. You see what I did there? I went to UCLA since, you know, you, you, okay. you, you, I, you I, Los Angeles. <laughs> Uh, yes. You might be a USC, but I'm just saying, um, what what do you think? That, it sounds like she got something to hide. I, what, what are your thoughts? When you jump out the shower to go get your phone, maybe she ain't got a, a um, little little uh, code to lock the screen, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. which I don't know. They, they both young, so maybe this is something she got to learn. What, mm -hmm. what, what are your thoughts? Because she was I mean, flying it's, down it's, There's block. definitely something to hide for sure because I'm not risking my life and my limbs to be jumping out of no wet shower running outside for nothing to nobody unless there's a fire behind me or Ooh. somebody trying to hurt me. But, you know, she could have been looking at stuff of his or got some got a password of his looking at his stuff. She could have something of herself to hide. Oh, but again, I didn't think broke. about that. Oh, yeah. Boom. You just blew my <laughs> mind. See, I went that she had something to hide because she got a dude on the side. But, yo, she might actually be logged in on another browser to his account and tracking his movements. Or yo, anything. you just yeah. went next level. I See, this is why we do this. This is why you on here, Shawnee. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And you so, don't want I him. Yeah. yeah, no, I got to chase the phone down for that because I yeah. feel bad and I don't want him to know. Yo. Ugh. Shawnee, you just cleared that mm -hmm. up for me real quick. 
Well, I mean, um, I just try to make it where it's kind of mutual because a lot of times situations like these are always seen as, oh, man versus the woman or woman yes. versus the man, but we're all yes. human and subject to do any of those things at any given time, especially with the influence of daily social media, scrolling, yes. whatever you got, yes. you know, men that portray women, women that portray men and vice versa, you know, so it's like you never really know what someone's motives is and you can't really always say it's because they're a man or because they're a woman or it's this way or that way. There's so many changes now with human behavior. So. Shawnee, we almost made it. I got two topics left. And we got 30 seconds. Do you want to finish yeah. these last two? Because if let's you because you travel. Yeah. Okay. She said, let's, let's do it. Go. Let's do it. Shawnee, th this is relationships. We're going to stay on with these last two. Okay. If your mate who's supporting you comes over to your side of the bed after your alarm goes off and you hit the snooze button, but they implore you to get up. Are you mad at them? <laughs> Is this before or after sex? I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, I, no, I don't think, I think, I think y'all was both dead asleep. So okay, maybe that okay, happened later on the, okay, in the, the night. Sleep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dead asleep. Alarm's going okay. off. I hit you the hit snooze, snooze button. They tell me to get up. I'm mad. Yes, don't, don't bother me. Uh, wait, wait a minute. No. Shawnee, they support no. them. Did you hear the part where I said, if you're a mate who's supporting you, I, I was trying to lead you. <laughs> oh, um, so supporting me. I still got stuff to do. I, no, don't look. My sleep, don't bother my sleep. Just period. Well, why'd you set the alarm? I might have wanted to get up. Well, now I'm trying to, I, I'm trying okay, to so get up. Saying, okay, I see what you're saying. He gets up and goes to work, but I'm not. No, no, no. He gets up to, to nudge you so you can get up. Hey, your alarm went off. You got to get up. That don't do it. It it don't sound like no. I you're not swayed. I, I no, I'm not. I I don't know. And that might be an area I need to work on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean I don't set alarms for nothing. Like if I'm getting up, but if I'm and I'm if I'm not getting up, it's 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 probably something else going on. I don't know. Maybe I need some. I don't know. I it could be so I, I might have set the alarm early to wake him up. Who knows? So, so I'm know. glad you took that side because I want to drop this little <laughs> nugget on you. Okay. If I don't get up and come all the way over to that side to do that, but you late, you got a you got a job. Maybe we know something's going on, or maybe you just slow getting up out that house, Shawnee. Um, and I know you like that. But if I don't do it, ain't I wrong for now? You got a rush. You might forget something. It might have been an important day. And now you don't get all the way to work and you forgot something because you were rushing. Am I wrong? Because that don't sound like support to me. I, I'm sorry. Is this again before or after? <laughs> <sexual resilience? laughs> Shawnee, Shawnee, there was no, there was no love making. Are running through my head because I'm, I'm trying <laughs> no, to this no, out. There was no love making within, De let's okay. say, a two sorry. hour window. I'm gonna need That's a sign next time you to hold up. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay folks. Yeah. So dead. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm wrong. If there's none of that and it's just dead sleep, then yes, I'm wrong. My bad. I'm I'm not gonna snooze. I'm gonna turn it off and and I'm gonna get up. That's that's where we're gonna be at. I'm, okay. I'm gonna try to be fair because okay. I don't I'm like you mess with my sleep either. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I hope we all know that. <laughs> People like you, Shawnee. Hold on. Hold on. Before we go to this last one, Shawnee. Hold on. That also sounds like if I call you at 6 a.m. and your alarm ain't go off yet, it sounds like you're going to be mad at me, Shawnee. And look at my face, Shawnee. You shouldn't be mad at me because now I'm mad because you should have cut your ringer off. No, I'm not one of those people. I'm okay. not. I don't, okay. I, I don't think I've called somebody but maybe five times in my life to say, hey, make sure I get up. And that's typically after a celebratory tequila night. Uh, yeah, and I haven't yeah. had but a few of those. So, right. and it was for military duty, which was very important. So, but yeah, yeah. outside of that, I try to be pretty responsible with getting up. I, you know, I was raised by people that worked on farms, my grandparents and my, my yeah. parents got up in the morning. So I've always kind of been a morning person. So yeah. if you wake me up calling me saying that, Hey girl, I'm just calling to wake you up. I'm, I'm going to get up. Cause apparently whatever I need to get up for is important. <laughs> so I'm going to get up. No, okay, I appreciate that then. I thought I read that wrong. I thought you would have gone yeah. the other way. All right, so last topic. We got to get these people out of here so they can go and watch the game. All right, Lisa Ray McCoy. You know okay. who Lisa Ray is. I do. 
Players Club, for those who yes. don't know. Uh, she says uh, she won't date a man who can't cover all her expenses, not even the light bill. What are your thoughts on that, Sean? Me, we're gonna go to <laughs> it's a relationship, um, but we're gonna get the point of view on that. Well, that comes from a place of someone being able to sustain themselves. Um, we have people that feel like I can sustain myself, and I just basically I'm looking for somebody that can do that too. It's not to say that she's going to take advantage of that person taking, you know, paying all the bills, but are you at least able to like, what if I no longer can work and we, you know, it's once again, communication and partnership for me. So I think for her, you know, being in the limelight, being in entertainment, you know, you don't want to have to do what some of these people are marrying people in prison and all this other foolishness. Like it just baffles me. Um, to be with somebody that can do absolutely nothing for you. Like you are not an asset in any way, except for maybe a piece of eye candy and, 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 a, and a piece of squash. Um, yeah. And so it's like, but my goodness, you can have a rotation and have that. You ain't got to stick with nobody <laughs> that can't do nothing for you. Like my God. See, I, I, see, that just don't make sense to me. That, you I'm can have some stuff person. in your stable. That's why the um, stable needs to be good enough so that you could go to the stable well, <laughs> depending if I need the draft horse, if I need the thoroughbred, if I if I need the plow, I got that yeah. horse. I mean, I, you know, I got them all. I got them all. Okay, so I, I so this one I want to ask you about this because this one hits home close to home for me. Um, I was going to take a job in South Carolina being a middle school math teacher. Mm -hmm. That was I. I want to say it's been so long. But let's say they was going to pay me about thirty five thousand a year. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. But that's thirty five thousand a year, and I ain't trying to dump on any of our listeners, any of our anyone streaming about that dollar. But what I want to say is, I ultimately did not take that job, mm -hmm. and I ended up taking a job that paid me almost three times that, and I felt mm -hmm. like a sellout because I still have never gone back to get into education and do that. So, mm -hmm. Shawnee, there are some people who took that route. Money, money clearly was my pursuit. Mm -hmm. over the happiness of doing the job. So what if there's this 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 young school teacher out there who's who's being a great influence to kids? He could be the soulmate for Lisa Ray McCoy, mm -hmm. but because he only making that 35,000, you know a lot of teachers don't make a lot of money. <laughs> Lisa Ray, she missing out on her blessing. In that case, can we can we relook at the policy of we need somebody who can cover all your expenses? I mean, cause it's ain't that kind of your fault that you driving the Bentley. You could be having, you could have a Honda. You 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 don't need I, ten Birkin uh, bags. You could have one. Your, your cars ain't gotta house. be maxed out. I, I get that, but when we talk about being equally yoked, that that actually means something. Laws of attraction apply here. Um, I think. If people are not on the same economical level and they come together and they have an understanding as to how those dynamics are going to work and they're having those difficult conversations and they're coming up with answers, then great. But when a woman is making more than a man, men have an issue with that. Like it's and it's nothing Agreed. totally wrong with that. It's a prideful thing. So she's trying to not set herself up to be put in this once again ah. strong woman position where she's got this resentful man at home I that is it. not seeing that she can provide. Let me help. Let me help. But he's like, no, I'm a man and, and I got it. You know, and all of hey, why he gotta sound like, like that. Why he gotta well, sound I'm like sorry, that. <laughs> Uh, why can't he sound like Billy D. Williams? Me, you ain't got that in your repertoire. <laughs> well, dear, I'm so sorry that dear, you know, I, I, I see Shawnee. You could have led with that. I made my point, though. I made you my did point. make your point, you but did. you know, it's no man wants to feel like that, you know. And I grew up around, uh, you know, uncles, grandfathers. I was the firstborn, the oldest, so I got to see yeah. how men operated, how they did all the things dealing with this type of woman, that kind of wives and all of that. And it's like, you know, it's a common theme across the board that no man wants to really have their woman above them that way. There are some, I'm not saying I shouldn't say no man. I would say not most men. I don't want to overgeneralize, but you know, that they don't want to see that doesn't make them feel masculine. So, yeah. but again, we talk about how are you as a man making your woman feel feminine? How are you allowing yeah. her to feel feminine? You know, it, does she feel safe enough to feel like she can 
help you and aid you in whatever you needed, your pitfalls, your shortcomings or whatever. And so that's why, you know, my mother was like, you know, her father said, a man is not ready for you if he doesn't have his own stuff going on. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't have his own stuff to where he can bring something to the table or share. And I think that's all that she's saying. I think people misconstrue it as to saying, oh, he got to be able to do this and got to be able to do that. But no, you're not thinking about the dynamic of once that household comes together and she's making all this money and he cannot afford the same things that she can what are the conversations going to be about next time? Who's going to be paying for dinner? Is he going to be mad because she went out and got a, got this bomb ass car because she could afford it? Or are they mm -hmm. going to have these conversations about your money's my money, my money's your money, and da, 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 you know? And it's like I got plans with my money, but you making plans with my money too, and that don't go together. You know, you start mm -hmm. having those kind of conversations, and she's just saying she don't want to have those conversations. That's how I see it. So i i see I see that and. She's trying to avoid drama. And you're right. Because male point of view, man, I got a lot of I got a lot of friends, men, and I know they couldn't get past their ego if she was making more money than him. I, I had a conversation just earlier this week. I'm trying to explain to a brother that it, it's okay to have a smart woman. What what he thought was, oh man, nah, she uh nah, she she thinks she know everything. What a What's wrong with that, bro? Like, I, I think you would hate to have to explain everything. Hey, girl, this is how a checking account works. Hey, girl, <laughs> this is how that works. I like, want to do all that. Wants to do how all dumb that. do you want your mate to be? Right. <laughs> what? Right. So, no, but no, that male ego does get in the way. I like that. I like which way you went there. And that was an exceptional point of view because I, I think you came from both sides there. Shawnee. We did it, girl. We went we went one hour, 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, we went over. We went a little overtime. Shout out 969 Hiders joined. The real oh. cool era. She, she came in. Appreciate everybody coming <laughs> Thank in with us. Uh, this was great. Thank you, Shawnee. And we gave them a little bit of respite. If they got <laughs> tired of all the Super Bowl dust up, we gave yeah. them a little bit. Now they can get back to their parties and whatever is going to be going on. Waiting for Usher in the, in the halftime, right? We can't wait for that. Right, right. I'm, I'm trying to get to a TV soon. Okay. We're supposed to be back at this. What What are the days that you picked out? Um, yeah, is so that... sa Saturdays and Sundays, we're going to come right back for the people. I was, okay. well, hey, hey, I was going to do an announcement, but hey, okay. we, we, <laughs> if they tuned in, they got it now. They got the announcement. <laughs> We've, we've got to smash y'all on these weekends. So stay <laughs> tuned. We're going to be smashing people. Smashing. <laughs> Shawnee. All right. You yes, were great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That was so much fun. Oh, I wish we had more time. Yes, Have a great you. rest you of too. the day. You all too. Thank y'all for listening. Have a good day.